everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thank you for joining me on today's exotic car video. And you're like, why is that an exotic car? How does a car become an exotic car? And what makes a car exotic? So I would say things like beautiful styling, right? A 12 cylinder engine, right? A transmission made by ZF, an independent rear suspension, 180 mile an hour top speed. Those are all the things that make for uh, a world-class supercar and exotic, and that's what we are looking at today. This Aston Martin DB9, super low miles, super great condition, just serviced at the dealer. Uh, we're gonna spend a minute looking at some of the stuff in here. It doesn't even matter. Look at the pictures and listen to the sound clip. Cut me completely out of the video. This car belongs in your garage. I'll show you why. So some things also too, I like a car that ages well, right? Like this car is really a beautiful car. Not to mention that the wheels, they're 19s, right? And they're still great looking, like they haven't outdated themselves. Some cars are like that where they uh, just kind of go out of flavor. Silver calipers from the factory still painted in there. And I know that the person that loved, that owned this car loved this car a lot, and I'll show you why, a couple of small things. One, first off, they had these installed, right? Not everybody does that. Matter of fact, you'll probably never see these. What this does is keeps this from putting rocks up in here. The original stone guards were on the car still. That's why there's very little damage anywhere on this car. We just took them off when we detailed it because it was time for them uh, to retire. The headlights are nice and clear. The hood vents look so good. When this car starts, I just ramble on about the beauty of the car, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter if it's good looking. It's what it sounds like, because this car just sounds amazing. All right, so the last thing you want to do is look at the tungsten gray paint. It's extra cost, it's beautifully done, and it's really, really nice. I think the quality of paint, especially factory paint from Aston, is great. And here's what we do. We try to put this here so you can see every letter in there, right? Every one, nice and crisp. You can see the metallic paint in it. You can see how really good it is. This call out right here is so nice and that beautiful grill. Anyway, uh, a fabulous car, whether it's your daily driver or whether it's a weekend car, this is a beautiful car. All right, so before we take a peek under the hood, do you know who Steele is and do you know who Martin Askill is? You say, Tone, uh, Steele, of course, we see him in the videos all the time. He's pretty cool, but Martin Askill, who's he? Well, let me tell you who Martin Askill is. Martin Askill, okay, is the one who assembled your engine. It says so right here. His name's hand built. His name is hand built. He hand built it and his name is printed right there on the tag here, right? Letting you know that's what you get when you get an Aston. You get personalization, right? You're getting this V12 engine. Look at the size of this six liter V12 engine, right? Making a lot of power and a great sound, but everything is beautifully done too. Like each piece it's from the braces for the shock tower braces, all nice pieces of milled aluminum. I don't know when you're when somebody cares as much to dress under the hood as they do outside the car, you know, you know, you know that they love cars. The styling of this car is still spectacular. It's tight back here, LED tail lights, just beautiful call out. Um, and still some very modern things like uh, backup sensors. This also has front and rear radar detector built in, okay? And then when I open the trunk, I see some things in there that, uh, that make me know that the person that, that owned this car, they loved it and they took good care of it, hence the, the low miles, right? And so right inside here uh, is a car cover. And you say, Tone, what's the big deal about a car cover? Well, this car was garaged at home and it was covered with a car cover as well. So it was like double protected, right? They really cared about it. And you can look and tell by all of the, all of the things in here, uh, how well it was taken care of. For instance, here's something. Nine times out of 10, the shocks here, right, don't work when you get the car because they're older. They just, people don't replace them. These, the hood works, the trunk works. It works like it's supposed to. And it really is just a nice, nice look. All right, we're getting ready to get into one of the most luxurious interiors you're ever gonna experience. A lot of hidden buttons, a lot of hidden features, a lot of different things. Come on in here, let's check this out. First off, I love the door handles, they're flush. They're flush and they're easy to get into. I'd like to point out something too that you may not have noticed and that's the way the door works. The door works different than regular cars. What it does is opens and goes up to give you more room to get out here, right? Where some cars that are low can potentially be uh, difficult to get in and out of. And then we get in here and it's just beautiful. Like look at the waterfall wood that's here. Uh, this beautiful engine start button, right? This is crystal. 
transmission's easy, just throw it into drive, or as soon as you pull a paddle, it goes ahead and gives you uh, a manual access of that. And then to go back to that, you either pull both paddles at the same time or push drive again. 220 mile an hour speedometer, they're serious about their cars, right? And uh, an 8,000 RPM tack full of gauges and what have you. But I wanted to point out just like the audio system is, is just killer good in this car. Screen pops up here, but this piece of wood and on the doors, the way it's matched in the color of the leather together. Uh, you push a sport mode button here and the exhaust becomes crisper. The engine management system is faster. You got power seats on both sides. It's just, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's just a luxurious car. When you drive this car, it feels so solid. And when people see it, they go, wow, that's an Aston Martin. Like when's the last time you saw an Aston Martin on the road other than some videos and things like that? Probably not very often. All right, so we're going to close up this exotic car video. And I say exotic because I ran down uh, a host of reasons why it's an exotic car. Come on, man. We are talking about a spectacular drivetrain, right? We're talking about great style, great color, beautiful top of the way it works. The interior is spectacular. I show the outside of the video here. It's just so you can walk up and see what your car might look like. But really what you care about is what it looks like inside. And no one, no one will get in this car and go, ugh, no one. It is an awesome, awesome car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this DB9. And if you would, please don't forget to uh, like the video right down there below, share it with your friends and uh, subscribe to the channel. We're throwing content out all the time. I'll see you on the test drive. Allow myself to introduce myself. Never mind. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just push the crystal start button, the crystal start button, not the regular start button, the crystal one. I think you need to get back there and hear this. James Bond allowed us to use his Aston DB9 today to go for a test drive. I hope you don't mind. We're taking it out for a little bit. You buy this car because it's luxurious looking, but it's also a sports car. With the paddle shifters, we're rolling through the corners. Listen. That's only half the RPMs that are available. Listen to that sound, man. If you're not smiling, listen to that. I need to see you in person. Hello. Bond, James Bond. <laughs> I can't even do it right. And I, Fleming, Tony Fleming. That doesn't even have a ring to it. I got to, I got to get a stage name. I got to get a stage name. Good call. This is the heavy braking zone. T is actually got Velcro on his jacket so he doesn't fall out of the seat. But listen. The sound of the V12 is just so easy on the ears. Mm.